Hopefully the wind isn't well, what can you too do much of a problem out you there. You just got to lean into it a little bit when it's <laughs> this strong, right? Just well, lean you know, in. you got to stand Hold up. Hold on, hunker Definitely down. strong enough to put a big time sway on <laughs> the trees out there. Though, yeah, and probably, I would imagine there's some tents up and stuff. So. Yeah, things like that. They're just, you really got to secure them. But, you know, we've got the blowing dust. It was expected today. We do see some wind improvements for the second half of the weekend. So things will come around for our Father's Day Sunday, I think. A couple spots of sprinkles and light rain showers over the Songer to Christos and kind of breaking up. And we've seen just a little bit of rain out here in cattle country around Vaughn, Santa Rosa, and up towards Tucumcari. But these showers, they're fairly light and they are weakening and pushing off into West Texas. Uh, we also have just a handful of showers here south of Deming. A couple of lightning strikes earlier out of that activity, but you can see right now we are lightning free. And it looks like the rain is going to stay just off to your south and east around Carlsbad and Hobbs for the rest of the evening. Sustained winds in the upper 20s and low 30s, large numbers. We expect it to be around 29 or 30 miles per hour by the end of the day. And the winds, you can see they're well, one or two miles per hour stronger than we thought. 35, Las Vegas, for your sustained winds. And we've got gusts well into the 40s. Now, we look ahead towards tomorrow. Here's what the winds do a 4, a 10, and a 17, and a 17 for the end of the day. That does put us in the windy range, but just kind of barely at about 15 to 20. And there will be gusts to about 25 or 30, but I don't think that they will be long duration wind gusts. They'll just kind of peak at the end of the day around 4 or 5 o'clock. 91 right now in Albuquerque. It does look kind of dusty and hazy out there. It's 32 sustained with a gust of 43 in the last hour. Here's what temperatures are doing pretty comfy. Taos, uh, Santa Fe. In the low to mid 80s, that's right where you want to be for a late spring, early summer afternoon. We do have this heat. It's almost oppressive in southern New Mexico. Roswell at 99, Carlsbad 102, about 95 around the Elephant Butte. This helped, though, in the swamp cooler department. We woke up to 40 degree dew points. They dropped into the teens. Anytime you cut the dew point by 20, and we cut the dew point by more than 20 today, you cut the amount of moisture in the air in half. And so, with less than half of the moisture that we started the day with, yeah, the swamp cooler is working better. Well, we'll slowly fall through the 80s this evening. It does stay windy up until the sunset hour at 8 o'clock. By 9, we'll be down to just some breezes. It was a cold front that will be knocking down temperatures in northern New Mexico tomorrow that kicked up the strong gusty winds today. But with that cold front off to our east tomorrow, we really don't have any weather worries for our Father's Day and Sunday. So we chase those showers off the eastern plains in southern New Mexico this evening. We wake up to dry skies on Sunday, and it does look dry wall to wall across the entire state throughout the day tomorrow. So it'll be a great one to do a barbecue with Dad. However, temperatures in southeastern New Mexico still on the hot side. Almost 100 Roswell, 103. Carlsbad will top out at 99 in Alamogordo. A lot of these wind speeds, though, they're in the 15 mile per hour range for the afternoon. Southern Rio Grande Valley, southwestern New Mexico. We'll see our lows tonight generally in the 60s, and tomorrow jump back into the 90s, coming up just shy of 90 degrees in Silver City. Gallup grants up towards Farmington in the Four Corners area. Well, we do see lows tonight dipping down into the 40s. That's going to feel nice. Windows open tomorrow morning, and then we will be topping out in the mid to upper 80s tomorrow afternoon, just kind of that perfect summertime range. And we look around Los Alamos, Santa Fe, and Taos. Taos, you dipped out to 38 tonight. And then back up to 80 tomorrow afternoon. That's quite a temperature swing, but a very comfy, almost cool start turns into a delightful afternoon. Low to mid 80s around Raton in Vegas. We've got winds at 17 tomorrow, a lot better than today. Edgewood at 85 after a 49 degree low temperature. And for the Albuquerque metro, we do expect low 50s with even some upper 40s in the River Valley. And tomorrow, boy, it's just going to feel like summertime with highs in the upper 80s to about 90 degrees. Now, we just can't keep the wind out of the forecast. Uh, increasing winds Monday again on Tuesday, and they'll probably peak on Wednesday and then kind of settle down towards the end of the week, bro.